Julia, geht's I'm gonna catch the train now to visit my friend Antonia in Heidelberg and I'm gonna be there for two days. to you in a long time and um, actually I wanted to take a clip yesterday when I was not in a good mood but then someone called me and then um, yeah I my mood changed and whatever I like yesterday I really did not have a good day I was just so stressed and also um, yeah I don't know I had like so many things in mind and I'm just gonna be here in Utrecht for three days and I kind of feel like I want to take way more um, take way more video clips and take also clips which I find aesthetically pleasing but then I don't know life happens and then I just sometimes forget to um, take some clips and now already two weeks passed and I still haven't had much time to film and also my exam week is now over which was which i'm really glad <laughs> actually i just want to say that um i'm just struggling <laughs> and um yesterday i was also feeling so down because i felt like i i'm such i'm so dependent sometimes on people um, I think it's also because um, Inga lived here for two and a half weeks and then I did like so many things with her and then I went to Manuel's place um, to my boyfriend and then like I'm not really that much used to being alone now it's quite rare but now um, since Monday I, I am a bit and I realized how I really have difficulties with studying alone and doing work alone um, also my room is so small and I really hate <laughs> I never really sit on this desk I most of the time I sit 
in my bed and like this ikea purchase is the best purchase i did with this table thingy but then it, that also means that i sometimes just sit in my bed and work and yeah so i hope i can like try to be more independent in the future but i also know that i just also enjoy doing activities and learning and studying with people who are then on my own in five minutes i have to go to uni it's already nearly 4 p.m um but i had one online lecture this morning about marketing innovations so for us block b starts we don't have semesters it is always like blocks and i finished block a and now i have block b and i'm going now to uni because i will have my first lecture or i don't know if you can call it lecture it's more about getting to know my supervisor and also five or four other girls who have the same kind of topic for uh, the graduation project um, so at my whole school um, they work together with 35 brands and i think each year it differs and i could choose three brands that i would love to work with and they all have different challenges which i will be working on and yeah i gladly um, got a brand which is from Belgium and they sell sustainable uh, footwear and yeah I'm really excited it's again a sustainable brand and a fashion brand and I think that's gonna be fun and I'm also looking forward to see the teacher again I think I had her in year one twice and she is Mexican and it's really fun I also wanted to say uh, thank you because um, today I uploaded a cooperation with um, Brava Fabrics um, they not, don't sponsor me for saying this but um, they sent me this butter rest which I really like I really like the color and I just wanted to say thank you because um, yeah you probably heard it also from other creators but it's because you um maybe also regularly watch my videos thank you for also subscribing if you haven't you should and um i know i'm not that like consistent with uploading but um yeah i'm also starting to share a bit more sustainable fashion content on my instagram yesterday i tried to shoot the content thing by my own and it was a bit of a struggle um, because I <laughs> only had my bike and I tried to like balance my backpack onto my bike and then try to secure my phone onto the backpack because it has like a not a zipper I don't know how to call it and it was like really <laughs> um yeah, it was really difficult but um i always try to manage to put the bike in the direction where i want to have that phone and um i was glad that in that like wood area where i took my content there were not many people and yeah i talked way too much i have to go now and see you in the next clip <laughs> yesterday and also this is from Popeya and it's so soft you can really feel the quality and this from bubblegum studios I got this four years ago in Japan and pants thrifted in Glasgow have a nice day <laughs>
just making a salad. This was um, on sale, so I bought salad. And cucumber mushrooms, uh, tomato, small mozzarellas, and I just added some vegan butter and yeah. I also like to add this okonomiyaki sauce when I fry vegetables. Um, yeah, I just came from uni and I'm so hungry because I only ate like half of a banana for breakfast because I procrastinated getting up, which is not too good. Yesterday I, I made porridge and for me the porridge season is starting and yeah, now I only have like two hours or so and then I have to catch the train to Germany. I have to transfer three times today, which is fun. Okay, the portion got quite small now, so I think I'm gonna snack more later, but also, do you like olives? I think you either like or hate it, but I really like black ones. same outfit <laughs> it's Friday I'm at home and um, I will have a lecture in seven minutes it's called marketing innovations and I already try to work a bit and I have to work the whole day um, I work for a sustainable certification um, online so I can just do it whenever I have time <laughs> Um, but I have a specific amount of hours I have to do every week. Um, but yeah, through that work I get to read a lot about different fashion brands, um, also a lot of green washing brands, and but also get to read a lot about different materials, sustainable materials, and there are just so many. So um, yeah, that's definitely also a benefit for me since that's my interest. And then in the evening I will have the choir rehearsal um, since I have a concert on Sunday and we're gonna rehearse tonight, then tomorrow the whole day and Sunday as well a bit. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. Oh, I also wanted to share about something I experienced yesterday. Yesterday I tried to, first I went to the, how do you say, women's doctor. I go like once a year. And I always forget to make the appointment, so if you forgot about it, do one, because it's really important. And then I ate together with a friend who lives in Karlsruhe, which was nice. And um, then I wanted to study in Karlsruhe, but I don't really know the city that well from a student's perspective. Like, I don't know cafes where you can work, so I just try to go to three of cafes um, but all of them either didn't have wi-fi or no plug-in <laughs> so yeah that was really disappointing but what i wanted to talk about is that i felt how much of an introvert i am since just going into a quite crowded cafe and looking for a free spot was so intimidating to me and i forgot that i had this insecurity oh, i don't know i feel like it's so it makes me so uncomfortable stepping into a cafe and feel it, having the feeling that everyone just looks like why did you even got into the cafe don't you think it's obvious that it's full <laughs> and yeah i just really hate that feeling maybe you can relate maybe you don't i hope you don't because it's such a stupid thought um but yeah i'm an introvert <laughs> Oh, I just watched Carla's new video and 
It looks so nice. Uh, it's so cold here. It's actually a blanket I, I got my parents from Scotland and I really like to use it myself. <laughs> yeah, but I, I feel like I just try to start editing and my like I can really see that it's a November vlog because I just miss the light in it and I enjoyed like seeing the ocean and the sun and sunsets in Carla's videos so much that I'm already looking so forward to spring and yeah I hope in the next days I will also see the blue sky again that would be so nice but now it's just gray so I hope you still enjoyed something in this video thank you for being here and watching until here and i might see you next time